Right, okay. Hi everyone, so I get a lot of people asking me to recommend uh, books for them from my course, so I've decided to make this little video to uh, help out in that situation. So this is just an ad hoc uh, little thing. Uh, I'm just gonna go basically go through some titles of authors and novels that I can recommend to you. Um, it's just going to be a very small video. So looking at the best sellers here, Indie One, we're Indie One Zamalek at the moment. So I'm gonna go to Albert Camus. He's a very valuable uh, writer and uh, worth reading. His work was an Algerian uh, French writer and The Stranger, The Plague, the Outsider are some of his um, most well-known titles. Um, so I recommend Camus because he's talking in a way, he's looking at existentialism and situations that affect society um, and the personal and people's motivations in that. Um, but at the same time, he's drawing you into the communities and the environments very well. Um, what else do we have here? Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. This is a brilliant um, novel that I think was written about in the 30s and interestingly this first got published with um, one of the magazines like Penthouse when they were, um, because they were at the forefront of getting rid of censorship. So at the time they first came out in America, they were actually also publishing novels that were otherwise not being able to get published. So this book is a science fiction novel dealing with a time, a dystopic um, situation, a time in the future, a dystopia, where uh, people are not allowed to have books anymore and the firemen are there to burn things and to burn books and people found with books are killed. Um, and all the uh, the writers, the uh, philosophers, the academics, they're on the outskirts of this city and they've memorised all the books of the world and they all rate them. We have Perfume, which is a book I talk about in my, um, in my short story, no, in my uh, creative writing course. And um, Patrick Suskind is the writer. He wrote two novels. This was his first book. It's quite old now, but it's still very valid and worth reading. Um, essentially the tale of a very maligned character who becomes a serial killer in, um, in rural France. Um, at the turn, I think, of the 19th century, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but it's beautifully written, very lyrical, verbose, but great description. And essentially, he's using and coming back to the idea of the olfactory sense throughout the entire book. What else do we have? Palette of Staining. So we've got Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons. Actually, I didn't read The Kite Runner yet, but A Thousand Splendid Sons, amazing tale. So beautiful. The tale of this women's friendship in very difficult circumstances and what they have to endure in uh, the situation they're in, ruled by the patriarchal society um, and the religious society. It's an amazing book, um, well worth reading. What else do we have here? We have Murakami and here and here um, and probably elsewhere here as well. So Murakami is one of my most favourite writers. This is the book that he got famous with. So Norwegian Wood uh, is what he got famous with. It also got made into a film, great film. Um, I think if you haven't read Murakami before you might want to start with Kafka on the Shore. Um, this is, I think, one of his best put together books. I would leave things like his latest work, Colourless Tuxori Tazaki and uh, IQ84. This is a trilogy and uh, will be more interesting to people who know him um, and his work. Um, Marquez. Love in the Time of Cholera, but of course Marquez's most famous work is A Hundred Years of Solitude, which is in the store, it's just not here, um, or not that I can see it. So uh, Marquez, beautiful writer, magical realism, and um, uh, he's been, you know, he's sadly he died last year, he left the planet, um, but Marquez is a beautiful, beautiful writer. 
else do we have? Um, Alice Munro here and here. Too much happiness and something I've been meaning to tell you. Actually, this one, her collection of short stories, they're all short stories. She is one of the master writers of short story. And um, for that alone, you should read her. She is brilliant. And this especially is one of her better collections of short story. I'm going to move over to the um, to the to the racks. So um, just to what else? Let's see. Um, what's jumping out at me? Um, we'll come. We'll come back to the racks in a moment when I've made some decisions. Thank you. <laughs> 